Hey, what's up everybody? It's Daydreams. Welcome back for another Clash of Kings video. Today, I'm going to show you guys Kingdom 1545. I skipped it yesterday because I had to do the announcement that I'm coming back to doing full-time videos in Kingdom 440 on the Prestige 4 castle. So everybody, you can stop asking me why I'm not playing on the Prestige 4. I'm back. Okay, now let's go ahead and do this 1545 video. So guys, you're going to get the best of both worlds. I'm going to show you what it's like being the, the normal castle level 19 growing. I'll be 22 probably in a week or two. Just a normal progressing castle. I've got four farms. I spent a little bit so that way I'm not too small because it's taking look at my farms. We've had them now for um, a little less than a week, but they're level 9, 8, 8, and um, 7. So they're still white. I can't hit them until I get to level 11 and get three marches. You have to, um, you know, nurse your farms up before you can start hitting them, guys. Don't start hitting your farms when they're brown and white. They You got to get to blue. They're called smurf. So wait till you get a smurf berry, and that's when you can start, that's when you can start um, hitting the farms because they can actually have resources. When they're blue and white, or when they're white and um, brown, they don't really have too many resources. So let me tell you guys... Um, the basis of this video so when i'm making videos i try to think of like a concept of what to explain to you guys and this one's going to be about never buy resources guys never buy resources from the in-game store it's a complete waste so let's go to the store so i can show you um the resources so okay so let's get to the big amounts so here's what 500k wood is going to cost you 500k wood is 1200 gold so um, right now I need iron. I'm real short on iron and I'm like, okay, what am I going to do? I don't want to spend more money. I've got 94k gold already. I've got tons of speed ups already. I don't need more packs because I don't need the speed ups and the gold and all this stuff. I'll have like a million gold just getting the iron I need. So while I'm waiting on those farms to get ready to start gathering iron, you know, I could just come here and get 250,000 iron for 3,300 gold. So I need about a million iron. So we're talking like 12 you know 14k gold and i hate to say it but i know i'm talking to one of you right now who has actually spent all this gold on iron when you could be using that gold for much better things so there's a couple things we can do here so 250,000 iron is 3300 gold so let me show you a couple ways that you can get some quick iron from the wishing well my wishing well isn't very high right now i've been having my builders building troop halls and castles but if you go here you see you get 1600 iron and you have a chance to get times 10 so um, we're at we're at um, 526,000 iron. Let's click it a few times see what we get to Okay, so we got like 10k iron there for free now. Here's where you can buy wishes. So when you really need a resource I'm just clicking it real fast. I've hit it. You know, we let's check keep a look on our gold. We're at um, 94,680 Let's go to 94,500 Okay, so right there we got you know about what 60 something thousand gold or i mean um iron for a couple hundred gold so you know try to use wishes once you get up to like 50 gold per wish yeah it's not really worth it anymore you don't want to really ever have to do that you want to be able to farm it but since this is a new kingdom guys i really do not have too many options so this might be the first time ever that i would since i have so much gold and i don't want to spend money this would be the first time ever that I would maybe buy resources from the store, but I'm still going to try not to. So come here and try to find a good deal. Now, sometimes you can find good deals here. I like to get the troop speed ups because I can always get more resources. See, 6,000 iron, nothing major, but sometimes you can find big packs of iron. 1,600, nothing major, but you can trade this blessing so you can get a wish for 15,000 and try to get more, um, try to get more iron that way. That's a good way to get some iron so let's just keep trying this and we might be able to find some iron in here i always buy these dragon coins for the twenty thousand wood the experience isn't worth it you can hit a couple monsters these wishes are just as good as iron because i can spend them on iron i always get the speed ups for wood because you can always um you can always farm more wood you can't you can't farm speed ups you can't go to the you know lumber mills and farm speed ups but let's keep uh Let's keep looking for them here. I'm always buying speed ups that I see in the store. These speed ups are a good deal. Everything you see I'm clicking is a good deal. Sorry, I'm trying not to make this too boring. Don't worry, guys, because after this, by the time you're watching it, I'm going to be in 440 smashing people, possibly live streaming. But 
It's going to get ugly for CUA. I'm going to be hitting them in every direction. But yeah, guys, don't ever, ever buy resources from the store. It's an absolute waste. But now I'm going to show you guys what I'm doing. If you're 19, if you are 19 or lower, here's what you want to do. So I've already got the important T6 that I needed. The knight and the... I got the knight, the T6 um, knight, knight's templar, and I have the T6 noble swordsman those are the two troops that are defensive and they can hold you off until you get higher you don't need the t6 demolisher they're an absolute garbage troop they took but since i already got the noble swordsman and i have the knights templar um you don't want the demolisher like i said they're absolute garbage they need a huge buff in the game um the t6 archers are just a defensive archer just like the t5 archers so they're not real important but what i want to get to first are the t t7 cavalry archer and here's why because the kill events next week and cavalry archer get a bonus on resource tile battles so those are really nice troop to have because you can basically uh you can win early kill events and get that 60k gold because you have all those cavalry archer and you don't need to send a lot of them because people are going to have low level troops so those cavalry archer are going to eat them up and of course you want some t7 guard for defense and if you put a few of those in front of your lair, they're going to absolutely demolish. Then I'm going to rush and get the archer and the trebuchet. So that's basically how you want to line your troops up for when you're small guys. Um, all the other buildings are going to suffer for a little while, but you're going to need all this for requirements anyway. Like, I'll get the drill grounds up next. Uh, you know, I can just spend some gold on that. So let's just start building. I, you guys have no idea how excited I am to get over to Kingdom 440 and smack CUA around a little bit. They have not seen Daddy in I don't know what how, how long has it been? It's been a, it's been a while, it's been a couple months or something. It hasn't been a couple months. It's been a it's been at least a month and a half or so. So we got that up to eighteen. Let's hope we can start nineteen. Oh, I forgot we got the daily wishes. If you guys are the um, daily rewards, if you guys don't know, you can come here every day, get your rewards. Make sure you do that. Also, if you're new to the game, you can go to the ship and get rewards there if you can afford the monthly pack it's 25 dollars a month you get 1000 gold each day and then you also can get the treasure you can share with your friends on facebook and get treasure in that way so that's another way you can get stuff if you're new to the game so we're at level 18 uh let's see if we can finish 19 without having to buy any iron so we can we have just enough iron to finish it and then we'll be starting on the next building. So we need about 3 million food. Okay, so we have enough. And we can finish the stables upgrade. And what I'm thinking is, is that I'm going to go ahead and just uh, speed this up. So that way I can start training the T7 Cavalry Archer. Might use some speed ups on the Cavalry Archer. And then we're going to go straight into... Oh, what do we want to go into? Um... I would normally, guys, go into the T, um, I'm going to go into Archer next because we're going to be going to tile heavy. We're going to be hitting all the tiles throughout the kingdom during the kill event. So, let's go ahead and finish this. We don't have any speed ups left, so we're just going to go pop 6k gold down the drain. But, we do have these heavy cavalry archers. So, we're going to get training these and we can also be speeding them up if we want to. Uh, we have like 200 of the speed ups, I believe. Let's see. 100 and... Oh, no, we don't. We've got 139. So, we've still got a healthy amount to where we can get a healthy amount of Cavalry Archer. We've only got 100k iron, though, guys. That's the big deal we got going on here. So, we're going to have to figure something out with the iron. Because our farms are not even big enough to gather iron yet. And, um, you know, I don't want to buy iron. That's like... The last thing in the world I want to do so we're just gonna upgrade that for now because it doesn't cost any iron and we're going to think on this so guys let me think of another thing that I want to tell you guys about this new kingdom uh, this is something really advanced for a lot of you and I don't know where you stand in your kingdom and if you have any negotiating power personally myself I've always been one of the lead negotiators in my kingdoms you know talking about what we're gonna do how we're going to run things like in 440 uh we decided that we weren't going to take out the enemy early because we wanted to give them time to grow so we'd have healthy competition later on in the kingdom and that's what we're doing here guys because remember there's only one thing worse than losing and that's winning easy that's going to be the title of this video maybe 
Um, so let's go and take a look at the kingdom. Um, I want to show you guys. So alliance ranking, um, we're first. Um, just like I told you guys, I told you guys the Chinese are going to start consolidating into one or two big powerful top five alliances. They're already starting to do it. They were like not even in the top five. Now they're in second place up to 13 million power. They're not too far behind us guys. So we've got to keep our eyes on them. TEA, Tears of Happiness. That is a pretty cool name I got to say. And their ally is KOR, the Koreans and PVP. With the other Chinese. My mouse is bouncing around. Hang on just a second. Sorry about the clicking in the uh, background. It's the, it's the Xbox One going crazy. So we got the Koreans in number six. We've got the Chinese in number seven. Um, I think in number eight is also like a mixed alliance. I believe it's like Indonesians and stuff. Um, same with number nine. They're like a mixed alliance. AVE Avenging Eras are a Russian alliance. So um, yeah, we have a few of our big alliances in the top like six. But you guys got to remember the rest of the kingdom. Most of them are against us. GAN, they've been hitting a lot of people. I'm not sure who they are. USP, it's obvious. They're another Chinese alliance. Um, I have not seen a Taiwanese alliance in this kingdom yet because I go around and I look for like the little, um, what are they called, the little uh, flags on their castles. And I don't really see any Taiwanese flags, but GIP, I believe they are Brazilian. Uh, LAT, that's a Latin, uh, Latino um, alliance. So um, I usually can make friends with them. Not sure who the rest of these guys are. They could be anyone. Alliance, true friend. Um, and okay top there are Chinese alliance miss miss most of these are Chinese alliances guys I'm not gonna lie they just have different names and they have some of their names in English so we've got a tough road ahead guys but remember like I said the only thing worse than winning is um, or the only thing worse than losing is winning easy and I do not want an easy road that's why I asked for kingdom peace for the first three weeks let everyone build then we got all these smurf farms because right now everyone most of the average castles are still blue level 11 to 14 that's about an average castle right now if you're not spending but you're working hard on farming you can get to like level 12 14 15 jerry um i don't think jerry spends what he's doing a very good job he's got all of his farms and he's uh he's working real hard but actually no jerry does spend i'm, I'm sorry jerry's from india um like these guys over here some of these guys are big farmers like chaos okay perfect example is chaos he's got a perfect setup here of six farms beautiful setup jerry or chaos let me give you one tip i'd like one more farm where this mithril plot is and i'd like another farm right here on the corner eight farms is perfectly beautiful you can push to 26 quick and you can get to 30 in a decent amount of time but i expect chaos to be a savage in this kingdom because his farm setup is stellar so is hydro oxygen oh yeah look at him he's got his spots blocked off for the rest of his farms what a s -s -s savage look at that he's got his farms up to level nine like mine he's got two level tens he can gather iron i'm super jealous we've got uh zerk tricks up here gathering he's got his farms owen owen's an experienced player he's from kingdom 440 he's got some farms here six farms so a lot of guys got nice setups on the outside in the hive it's hard to get a nice setup i mean i've got a couple farms brody's looking good you know i've got a couple around me but nothing beautiful i mean four you know that's that's child's play you know i laugh at people with only four farms i mean i don't laugh if you're spending a bunch of money but if you want to get to level 30 with only four farms good luck bro it's going to take you about eight months of hard work but if you want to get there guys you got to have them 10 to 15 farms all day i'd say 12 to 15 will get you to 30 in five to six months and um especially if you're in a top alliance like lok you should have no problems whatsoever because remember you're also going to get gifts from um, each week you're going to get the legendary and alliance development gifts that also helps you out a lot so guys by the time this video goes up i will be in kingdom 440 smashing cua that's exactly what i'm going to do after this so i'm going ahead right over there I hope you guys have a great day. Please smash the like button if you learned something today. I'm trying to, you know, drop little bits of knowledge here and there. Switch back and forth between kingdoms. Guys, I've got four sponsored videos coming up.
from four other different types of games mobile games different games if you're hyped about that let me know and also i'm going to give away that 23 castle uh in tomorrow's video uh i want to give everyone a chance to enter if you don't know what i'm talking about it was in the previous video giving away a 23 castle in kingdom 440 um so i hope someone that really wants to come wins just leave a comment on the video saying that you would like to come to 440 it doesn't have to be anything in particular and make sure you hit the like button because if you don't hit the like button then you're not eligible for the castle so thank you guys so much for watching these videos and supporting me if you guys want to support me further i'll put my patreon link in the description below and look out for that kingdom 440 video because it's gonna be coming in hot I'm going to be smashing that whole hive. Uh, maybe I'll live stream. Who knows? I'll see you guys in a minute. Oh, oh, oh. Goodbye, motherfucker! <laughs>